who you're writing your music for. If you're writing your music for the guy at the office, then your <laughs> public enemy is doing a bad job. <laughs> but if they were doing their music for black people or for people who want to come to a better understanding of how things really are, then they did a good job. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to see the true picture. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if he feels uncomfortable. Because what about when I felt uncomfortable for 400 years? You know what I'm saying? Then now all of a sudden it's bad to, to talk about some real... Any, anytime somebody pulls a trigger or there's any kind of gunshot, everybody starts running for cover. But everybody's really doing all this shooting in the streets. You know what I'm saying? All this Iran-Contra stuff and the big that war, all that, that's violence to me. That's real violence. What we're talking about is fake violence. All this, what we're rapping... It happens in the streets, but us rapping about it is not the violence. And the movie about it is not the violence. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's an adventure world that we are creating. Trying to get out, trying to, what we're doing is using our brain to get out of the ghetto any way we can. So we tell these stories, you know what I'm saying? And they tend to be violent because our world tends to be filled with violence. I would rather tell a young black male to um, educate his mind, arm yourself, and be free and, and defend yourself then, you know, just sit there and turn the other cheek. Mm -hmm. So whatever message that sends out, that's the kind of message it is. Now, but precisely in the film, sort of things degenerate when Bishop does arm himself. Is but he didn't because... educate his mind. That's true. That was just, just violence. It, it had nothing to do with his brain. It had nothing to do... He used the wrong targets. That's absolutely wrong. And I know everybody's going to see that when they see the movie. He didn't do, he didn't do anything to help himself get out of his situation. And in fact, Q was closest to getting out of his situation. He used his mind. When you use your brain, it doesn't always have to come to a violent end. But sometimes it does, and that's all that I'm saying. That that is a choice. Yeah, I think that's they give us, shows that it's definitely right. a choice. They never show you that, you know, okay, the cop's beating on you. You have a choice. Violence to defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? Turn the other cheek or wait for the news cameras to come and talk about it. Like Rodney King. I'm talking about doing it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm really, it's happened to me. The police beat me up in the middle of the street for no reason. Just simply because I cursed at them. Because they were harassing me and I cursed at them. Now they beat me up. Now, in reality, I couldn't shoot them. Like in my rhymes, I would say, you know what I'm saying? Pow, pow. You know what I'm saying? It was a shootout. But I couldn't do that in reality. But in my rhymes, it, it vents that anger because I can, I can, you know, fire back at the police. And won't go to jail for, for life. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just war. Right. And my music, and, and a lot of this music, it's only talking. It's only talking about the suppressed rising. I mean, the oppressed rising up against the oppressor. That's all. That's what my music's about. The oppressed rising up against the oppressor. So if only people that's scared are the oppressors. The only people who could have any harm coming to them are those who oppress. Simple as that. You mean? The only people that have anything to worry about. Mm -hmm. uh, but it seems to me that the people that are being oppressed are the ones who have a lot to worry about too, because they're the ones that are getting beat on every day or not. Right, and that's why they need to start, you know what I'm saying, striking back, beating back. So now, why would you choose acting as a, as a career when it, when it's going to be harder compared to all the visibility that you can get with music, or do you continue to do you plan to continue? I'm doing both. I'm still in digital underground. My solo album, Tupacalypse Now, is out in the stores, doing good. I still got music with Digital Underground. That album is doing very well. So it's all just basically showing and proving. I'm, I made it out, and I want to stay out. And I want to show by my actions and by my interviews that this is how you stay out. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's still real. I'm still that young black man. I didn't turn into, you know, Arsenio or Cosby. You know what I'm saying? I'm still the same man. Those people don't say anything to you. They're the people that are the most visible right. to young people today. Those are the people television. who I admire. I've been, like in all these other interviews, I know people are going to trip because I've been down in these people. But I, what I failed to say was how much I admired these people. You know what I'm saying? Like Spike Lee and Arsenio Hall. I admired these people. Eddie Murphy, these people who I wanted to get into the business for. 